as a lot of us know, uh, vaccination is probably one of the most effective public health interventions um, to prevent mortality and morbidity uh, in, in children, in adolescents uh, and in adults. And so it's a big public health intervention uh, that more and more uh, we are promoting and, and trying to promote uh, amongst the public. But we have a lot of hesitancy, we understand. And there are still people who are hesitant to take the jab, especially to vaccinate their children against all sorts of diseases. Uh, from, from what you know, what are the key factors that are driving this hesitancy? Yeah. Um. No, I mean, at uh, Cochrane South Africa, we've been doing various systematic reviews to understand uh, vaccine hesitancy for uh, childhood vaccines, uh, adolescent vaccines and the COVID vaccine. And I think a common assumption is that uh, people are hesitant about vaccines because they uh, lack information or knowledge uh, or irrational forms of thinking. Um, and so if we kind of provide education and awareness, uh, people will get vaccinated. But I think what our Research is really showing is that uh, vaccine hesitancy is, is driven by a lot more complex kind of social uh, meanings, relationships, um, and factors that actually have very little to do with knowledge or lack thereof. Um, so, for example, people's broader views and values about health, childhood, parenting, sexuality, um, people's wider social relationships and networks, um, and the kind of vaccine norms within these. And I think another big issue is really wider political issues um, mm. and rela power relations, the impact of these on people's trust in experts, uh, authorities and, and systems associated with vaccination. Um, so and, and also people's experiences of vaccination services um, and healthcare workers, how they feel they treated um, all of these more complex factors uh, influence whether people want to get vaccinated or not um, that essentially mm. go, go a lot beyond a simple evaluation 